Now fifth one is a testing the account provisioning process via REST API. So account provisioning provisioning is the process of establishing and maintaining the user account within application or website. So provisioning capability capabilities are usually restrict user accounts. Pen, uh, penetration tester must validate account provisioning functions are done by user providing proper identification and authorization. A common uh, venue of account provisioning is through a representational state of uh, transfer. You can, call, you can call as a REST API call. So many times developer may be not put the same authorization check in the place uh, for API calls that are used in, uh, used in EI portion of the application. So using the REST API call, we can uh, get the all user uh, information. So uh, now we will check the account provisioning process via REST API. Let's do the practical for this one. Now testing the uh, account provisioning process via REST API. So first we will check the user uh, register uh, account information. Just click on SQL injection extract data user info. We are just uh, entering the username, user, uh, name is user, password is user and click on the view account details. And after that you are able to see that the particular user uh, details username is user password user uh, signature means user account info so just after that you have to uh, check the web services uh, for rest so just click on the web services rest user account enumeration sql injection or REST API SQL injection account management. So this is the URL for the REST API, uh, REST, uh, API for particular user. You can use this and for all the user you can use this. So uh, you can that, uh, get that uh, URL using a uh, uh, bar spidering or spidering. If you are click on that uh, particular target and you can find that uh, scan this uh, website or actively scan that and you can get that particular REST API call information here. Web services, REST, user account info. So you can get it uh, also using a spidering or actively scan here now now let's try to uh, invoke the one of the rest, rest call so here is the user account management uh, rest api request so click on that you can find that request in uh, proxy http history just send that request to repeater in repeater just click on send and you will get that this uh this is the rest api call and this is the information now we are just adding the parameter here username equal to user okay now just send the request so after adding that we are able to find that particular user account information here now instead of a user we are using this type of uh, user for uh, check the all the possibility just insert that request and now the password for username is password and all that for all the accounts so just sending that request and here we can see check that the many user account information here 
uh, in render we are able to see easily so here you can set that user uh, name user user account uh, info for uh, admin is admin the password for uh, so you can find all the user and password details here using the rest api call so so this is the one type of vulnerability you can uh, say that particular key uh, uh, we are notice that we are dumb all the accounts in uh, the database to displaying username password and signature so this is the one type of vulnerability now let's check with the uh, for example uh, user account uh, api uh, uh, request here so now just checking with the we are able to delete or create a user using this uh, this uh, rest api call so sending this uh, request to repeater here and now here is the get request so instead of get we are changing it to delete we are testing to uh, we are trying to delete the user delete and parameter you can just add as a body username user password user so here here we can able to delete the user using the rest api call without any uh, admin uh, rights administrator rights so just click on that send the request and now you can find that the result de deleted account user so same way you can uh, add the user using the rest api call if you are able to do that Uh, by changing the parameter or any uh, uh, request so it's one type of vulnerability of account provisioning uh, process and here we here we can verify the if we have deleted the user just click on that uh, that now just enter the user and user your account details and here you can find that the bad username or password authentication error so we have deleted so that's why it's showing the uh, this type of uh, error you can also create the user uh re create the user account or uh, using the same uh, 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 steps or just replace the delete with the put request in signature so if you have to create that particular user just put uh, enter the put request here and after that uh, users created just sending the request now insert the account user one rows affected now we are just checking the render okay now just checking in browser click on user user your account details now you can see that the user are is created using a rest api call so pen tester make sure they are checking the all the possibility of, of possibly possible vulnerability of a rest api call so this is all about the assessing authentication scheme so in this uh, video we have checked uh, account uh, enumeration engageable account testing the weak lockout mechanism bypassing the authentication scheme and testing the browser uh, catch weakness and also testing the account provisioning process via rest hole rest api